Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Happy time zone, one and all, and welcome to episode 48 of the Co-Crown Podcast Mini. Hey. Yep. Wow. We are looking today at uh, Digimon Seekers 4-5, and uh, look at the glorious <laughs> look at the look at the glorious image beside us. Look at him. Oh, he's amazing, <laughs> and I'm in love, and I'm just like, yay. He is very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Um, damn powerful too. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a good. It's 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 a good. So <laughs> before we get into that, uh. Mm. My name is AJ, of course, joined along by Miss Meg Mon. Hi. And uh, welcome to the Code Crown Podcast. Uh, these, are our, these are our mini uh, episodes. Uh, just looking at something outside of the main anime, and um, which we will be returning to. Will do we tell them now? or I, I mentioned it on my stream. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we are going to be, if you are watching this live as it airs, it is currently 12 p.m. on uh, Wednesday, the 17th of January. We are going to be live tonight again mm -hmm. with uh, Digimon Survive Chapter 12 on the Golden Roof. Yes. And we're nearly finished with that game as well. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, no, I suppose we may as well cover it. We'll just get the housekeeping out of the way. We'll probably have mm -hmm. to repeat ourselves tonight for, uh, uh, seek see, no, this is Seekers. We'll have to, re uh, repeat ourselves for Survive. But, <laughs> well, I thought you were going to say Save or Ah, uh, so did I. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> the move has been confirmed. Within the next 14 days, this move has got, ew. Is going to happen. The person who we were waiting on to move out of the house that we're moving into has basically been given the go ahead. She needs to do an inspection of the new house and then she'll be given her keys and she can start moving in and we can then start occupying the new house. And then it's a, just a case of getting all our stuff sorted and making sure we have, you know, high speed internet and yeah. all of this stuff. So what that means is this coming Sunday will be likely our last live show for two to three weeks. Yeah. Because I'll be on call for work the following week. Mm. That we will still record for Seekers 4 6, unless something changes drastically and it's like oh no we gotta leave now mm. we'll still be doing our recording for seekers 4-6 i'm hoping we can still do a recording for digimon all-star rumble or rumble arena 2 yeah um you know to complement where the live shows would normally be those will be for members only though so uh definitely if you haven't joined the membership yet, get on that because we're going to be talking exclusively about this stuff, um, you know, because uh, that will be our outlet for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, and uh, memberships are only two ninety nine right now, I think. They are two yeah. ninety nine, and uh, you get a wealth of back catalog content from um, my other self. You get um, the Digimon. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 games, and uh, there will be other content such as AJ's previous Digimon personas. Ooh, Ooh yeah, I'm digging that grave up. <laughs> I'm going to be reading some old fan fiction. Um, and probably not the fan fiction Reiko wants me to read on screen, <laughs> but it's, it's going to be something fun that I want to... I don't know. I've got an itch I want to revisit and I want to look at myself and go, God, that was cringe. Or, no, no, I was onto something there. I should expand this into its own thing. 
Um, because that's something I want to do for 2024 is, um, I've been talking about this for a while, is get a laptop or something and mm. get back into writing and get something fucking published. Yeah. That would be lovely. Um, you could write the next love novel. Hmm. I could. In English. In English. Oh, Proper we, English. Pro oh, we'll get to that. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. If we think oh, the AI yeah. was back on form today or back on the uh, registrar for today. um, But yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I, I think in a two to three weeks, when we return properly... That is where we will be looking into starting Digimon Frontier and Digimon Savers and getting back to our weekly anime watch-alongs live with you guys and talking and reviewing and rating and ranting and all of the good stuff yeah. you've come to love from us over the last couple of years as mm -hmm. we've gone through these various anime. Um, Liberator is still on the horizon. Mm. We don't really know a whole lot about it. We're meant to learn more this month. Yeah. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully. <laughs> I would like to at least know the new characters' names. Yeah, that'd be nice. Wouldn't it? I'd yeah. like to know if the I'd like to know if the shoe is 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 one Digimon or two or what's happening Which there. Which side of it is the sentient side? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still hoping it's the shoe and not I the think, puppet. Yeah, I think it is the shoe. Yeah, I hope it's not the puppet. The puppet is too simple. I want yeah. it to be the shoe. Um, so there's still a lot of, you know, um, there's still going to be a lot of readily available content coming, but we need, just need to get this house cleaning out of the way or housekeeping out of the way that this coming Sunday, the 21st of January will likely hard subject to change, but I hope not. We've been waiting long enough. Yeah will likely be our final live show for a time. Mm -hmm. Not final as in never doing it again, but once we finish Survive, that's kind of it for two to three weeks. Yeah. Until we until we get our bearings in the new place. So get our internet in the new place. <laughs> uh, you know, same thing. You know, like moving in, getting settled, sorting out what furniture goes where. Sorting out the office, the bedroom, the spare room, the, you know, all of that stuff. What, what waifus go in what room? The two bedrooms. <laughs> There's enough of them. Um, you know, um, and then, you know, and then just making sure that, like, no, uh, that no work, you know, work does not leave its dedicated space. Yes. Um, we're trying, you know, trying to better ourselves and be adult about that. So, yeah. You know, be grown ups. So, yeah. So I think that's like, I think that's everything. Yes. Um... Uh, a lot of new cards got revealed for um, extra pack six. Mm. Lots of waifus. Bunnies. Yeah. Which mon's getting a, which mon's got oh, a new yeah. card? That's quite. Quite lovely. Mm. Um, Lilith Mon got a new card, which is quite lovely. Bastimon got a new card, which is quite lovely. Devimon got a new card where he's just all muscle. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and it doesn't look so much that the wing on his back is growing out of him so much as it looks like he has a socket. Yeah. It's, the the bit where his wing is coming out, it looks like a toy. Yeah. Looks like there's like a it's like like there's a hole on his back, and you're just meant to plug the like the, um. Oh, what do they call it? The. Oh. Not the joint, but the ball point. Mm. The like the the ball joint. That's the one that that's just meant to plug in there, so you have the flexibility. Yeah. Um. But the but the body. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Tasty. <laughs> simping for Devimon here um but yeah I mean, it kind of falls under simping for venom doesn't it? <laughs> kind of yeah 19 inches of venom <laughs> ah i love that statue so much <laughs> yeah um 
It lets it bite them back into the box. That wasn't far to it. Oh no, it'll be easy to get them back into the box. It's just getting the box open is going to be the hardest part of that. I was joking because he's venom. Mm. Okay. Push him down, he can climb up your arms. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't pick up on that. Um, so moving back to Digimon for mm -hmm. like, you know, the point of the the recording here. Um. You mean this isn't an everything goes show? No, this isn't an ever. This isn't an everything. Everything goes. This isn't an anything goes show. But Pokemon, we need to talk about Pokemon for an hour. No, <laughs> no, we have success. That was Yami's fault. I'm starting to learn or realize what that the, we don't talk about ever since. Uh, and I'm not being I'm not being bad when I say it here. But ever since Yami stopped being able to make the live show, we haven't done the Pokemon half hour segment. <laughs> So that is somehow Yami's fault. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Uh, <laughs> but um so like this chapter. Yeah. Goes um, on for a bit. Yeah, when you first showed it to me and started scrolling, it felt like you were scrolling forever. Yeah. But reading it I got to the end, I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, there's like so the prototype Digimon are doing like the, the whole episode is like a loading counter. Yeah, um, and it reminds me, and by God, I'm not going to go off into my rants here, right? But it reminds me of um, the episode of Digimon 2020 that I hate the most. Okay, count. I think it's it's called like. Countdown to Destruction. No, wait, that was a Power Rangers episode, Countdown to Destruction. Um, Open the rankings on point zero. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Uh, yeah, like, I think I, gave, I think it's the episode I gave, like, a one. Mm. Because I had to give it a score, I gave it a one. And, but it's, like, the worst episode. And it's basically... It, the whole episode is just a timer counting down. Okay. And Omega Mon and the Monster of the Week are just staring at each other the runtime of the episode oh. but it's just counting down and that's what this was yeah this was but this was the counter going up yeah 30 percent, 33 percent there were you know 60 for 66 percent and i did like there were like moments where the digital and more computerized aspect of these monsters was brought into it that in a way that like i wish other media would mm. would 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 do or not be afraid to do where like when jelly one plugs herself in as a usb yeah stuff yeah. like that <laughs> but like there's a moment like where doruman is issuing commands to marvin but because his processes are being used to to hack the gate mm. his voice is broken and distorted and very robotic mm. and like like that's... if you were running too much yeah, On he's lagging. Yeah, he's lagging. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think that's such a cool thing. I mm. wish more elements of the franchise did stuff like that. Because mm. that's such... It's like, oh my god, I've never considered that a Digimon might actually lag. Mm. That's, that's a fun sort of like, oh, you know, mind explosion. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, and even the stuff about like text or like code and all that in front of them and yeah. running around them and... All of that. I'm like, you don't really ever see that in like evolution sequences. Yeah. So like the fact that it's just happening here to open a gate. You know? Yeah. Like it, it. Like it refers to uh, Kosuke as like a sorcerer at some point. Because mm. just all like a sorcerer waving his spells around yeah. and stuff like that. And I'm like, I can see it. Mm -mm. And I will say for a, a chapter that oh, it, it's not a boring chapter. No, right? it's not. But it is slow. Yeah, like if this was an anime episode, I feel like it would drag. It might be better as an anime episode because any action that's going on would just be action. If hmm. there's no reading about it and you know, descriptions of that and descriptions of that. It's just happening, so you could kind of zone out into it, but you can't when you're reading. No. So like the, the so the the Digimon are being you know used to hack into the gate and um, 
the digi police have scarpered their dawn. Uh, you know, they send the rest of the Sons of Chaos home and they're all like, yeah, cool. Mm. Let's let's have beers later to celebrate yeah. and, and stuff like that. And uh, <laughs> they're, you know, and then sort of one of them gets shot out of the sky. And Marvin's like, hey, what, what wait, what's what, what's going on? Mm. And one of the Mechanorimon controlled by the Digipolice is still around. Yeah. And uh, out of it falls Numamon, which means Satsuki never left. Yeah. So Satsuki which we predicted. <laughs> which we did. We yeah, we did predict like she was going to be the last one. Because, you know, we knew this, you know, th this absolute unit still had to turn <laughs> up. So Yeah. Um, but it like it turns out that like Brigadramon is a state secret Digimon mm -hmm. and she basically knows she'll probably get fired for showing it off yeah, or reprimanded at the very least mm -hmm. but she's like refusing to leave the battlefield without Yulin mm -hmm. um, and I love like wait the Digipolice just had this lying around <laughs> well, I love that the Meganorimon like falls over and then yeah. she kind of gets up and just goes oh sorry <laughs> as if she's not in the middle of a battle <laughs> yeah she just dusts herself off like um and Marvin's like, what the hell? And she's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> um, so Satsuki's there to really, you know, put uh save Yulin and like put a stop to Chaos Dramon, mm. uh, which Marvin's controlling. Uh, so she uses a, a dig another Digimon dock to summon Brigade Dramon, and then sort of it goes to town on Chaos Dramon, and there's a, a big old mega level battle mm. happening there. Um, but as they start, as as the cracking on the gate gets, you know, more. I don't want to say advanced, but you know, as as well, the, as like the numbers climbs, yeah, <laughs> as the numbers climb, the vortexes start to open. Yeah, and uh, Eiji's like, "Oh no, this isn't good. <laughs> it's it, it it's coming. It's uh, coming." And Lugamon, even Lugamon's like, "Ah, uh, you know, I'm not sure about this anymore." Yeah. Um, but dun dun dun, all delete. Or sorry, as the <laughs> English version of it says, delete all. Yeah. Even though we have trading cards that call it all delete because that's the attack's name. Mm -hmm. But either way, Omega Mon is back, and um, Omega Mon being back means that Marvin and Satsuki have to team up to stop it because. Yeah. It risks because it's going after Kosuke, but mm. it going after Kosuke risks Ryudamon being hurt, which risks Yulin being hurt. Yeah. So Satsuki's like, it's not like I want to team up with you or anything, Baka. Yeah, like she's <laughs> literally fighting against Omega Mon and going, wait, why am I doing this? Oh, yeah, Yulin. <laughs> but I still love, like, mm. even when Satsuki turns up and AG then appears on the battlefield and she's still like, <laughs> she. Uh, she Oh, but it's like Aww. she's still like the, like she can't let it go, and it's calls him some kind of parasite scourge or something yeah. weird like that, don't she? Um, I'll go back and get it now, but like, um, God, where is it gone? Uh... Oh, it's so far back up. Gee, she shows um she called him puppy trainer as well. Yeah. Pestilence pestilence incarnate. <laughs> he was pestilent. Yeah. Her life had not been nothing but a series of setbacks ever since AG entered the picture. Like she hates him. Yeah. <laughs> she would have someone exercise the little demon if she could. <laughs> yeah. And like he's trying to explain to her here, look, look, there's there's a lot of stuff going on here that's bigger than us, and mm. she doesn't want to hear it, you know. And like she does, and she's talking about like you know, as I mentioned, like you know, I know my career is basically over for showing off this state secret Digimon, but mm. uh, like she's all oh she's already yeah like she'd already sent the higher ups her resignation. <laughs> it was like so she because she knew she was, yeah, you know. Uh, but getting Yulin back was more important because mm. the police need Yulin more than they need her in Satsuki's eyes. Yeah. 
um, you know, and then they, but they also, she it, doesn't want to lose her mentor either. No, but it also risks, you know, her go, it also risks, the longer this goes on, the longer it risks Yulin going DMIA, and she mm. wants to try and prevent that as well. Um, but, so, <laughs> she even says, like, once she unleashes the state secret Digimon, I'd be, I'd be no different from the criminals in the SOC. It doesn't matter. The Digiblaze can't afford to to lose you regarding Yulin. Mm. So she summons down Brigade Ramon to, you know, and its attack is called Genocidal Rain, mm. which I'm just like, oh, I kind of missed that. <laughs> uh, that I missed that part of it. Um, yeah, like fire is like, what does it say? Like fires, it fires a Chaos Ramon like 48,000 times or something. Yeah. Um, and, but Chaos Ramon is... He's not getting hurt by it. He's no, just getting the red... pinned, he's just getting pinned down by it. Yeah, like the red digizoid is helping in that. Mm. Um, you know, but then the like, then there's a weird thing where Ag's like, "Wait, what is this Dramon? Mm. I don't know. I don't know if it's meant to be that like he didn't catch its name. Yeah, see, that's what I got. Because, oh yeah, he's yeah he's firing. Uh, see, so he's firing forty eight hundred rounds of genocidal rain per second. Per second, yeah. At a uh, at chaos Dramon. but like at first I thought when he was like, "Hey, what is this Dramon? Uh, that like, Ag just didn't catch Brigade Dramon's name at first. But then the story keeps calling it Dramon. Yeah. That was weird. And then... Like, even, like, Chaos Dramon's crusher was grabbing Dramon's right arm. And then there's a weird, like, translation funk on the word arm. Yeah, it's like someone tried to put it in italics and messed it up. Oh, and there's a there's a bit more of that. We'll show that yeah. off in a few minutes. Um, as we we kind of alluded to earlier, we kind of feel like the AI is back at back it has been reemployed for this chapter. Yeah, yeah, because it yeah it keeps calling it just keeps calling him Dramon as yeah. if the person writing it also didn't didn't understand that it yeah. was called Brigade Dramon, and yeah. then you know, but then after there's a whole paragraph where it's just called Dramon, and then they start calling it Brigade Dramon again. Mm. Um. But then, you know, Omega Mon shows up, all delete. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Omega Mon uh, has Guru Cannon and Transcendent Sword as its attacks in this. It should be Grey Sword. Yeah. Transcendent or... Sword is Omnimon's attack. Yeah. Or Supreme Cannon. Supreme Cannon. Rather yeah. than Guru Cannon. So I don't know if this is meant to be a retcon and it's no longer Grey Sword. Mm. Maybe they thought Guru Cannon sounded better than Supreme Cannon, but Transcendent Sword sounded better than Grey Sword. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, you gotta pick one set or the other. Yeah, are the attacks named for the arms or are they not? Yeah. Pick one. Mm. You can't have both. Yeah, I think you should put up your screenshot here. Uh <laughs> oh. Ah yes, um. Oh yes, because then um, the Omega Mon gets referred to as the top gatekeeper who attacked Ag and Helgarmon. Yeah. Um. Who's Helga? I, I <laughs> Pata Helga Pataki. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a Digimon. Um, and then it starts talking about Mega Level Digimon again and. All the words get crushed together in a weird font. So let me let me bring up one of the let me just let me bring up one of these first and then we'll uh show you the other one. <laughs> uh to clear out this uh, print screen folder. Yeah, hey that's the top gatekeeper. Okay, well then that'll 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 do for a start. Ah. Uh, oh no. 
do I just... Where is the... Why is it not... Oh. Jesus. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's on my package. <laughs> there we go. And it's backwards. Why is it backwards? I didn't screenshot it backwards. You got a mirror. It's because you loaded it into something that used to be in oh. source for a Christmas hat and you flipped the hat backwards. That's what that is. Yeah, that, that's... um. That was Lotmon's Christmas hat. So yeah. we are. And uh yeah. Oh. no. Yeah. Not horizontal. Oh. The horizon. But but <laughs> Alright, fine. Uh yeah, I have to do both now. There we go. <laughs> First try. So the top gatekeeper who attacked AG and Helgarmon. And then the one then the text for that was just all cramped together. You can find the uh screenshot here. You think I just have these ready to go, but yeah. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Among Mega, who are high, who are highly honed beings, uh, they, they, they are closest to a god. <laughs> a system administrator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the AI got rehired for this chapter, and I am and I am upset. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Oops. <laughs> That's the font that was back as well when it said he grabbed. It, wait, K, yeah, it's he like, grabbed Dramon by the arm. Yeah. The arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like Chaos Dramon grabbed, uh, oh. grabbed uh, Dramon by its right arm. Ah, oh, the AI has me. An arm is in the same uh, ah! font. What is What's going happening? on? Why are you? What are you doing? I don't know. Why am I panicking? Sit up. Nothing. No, well. Because originally I was sitting like this. No, well, you've obviously done something to upset it. So I had told you it was the AI. Oh. Do I need to reset you or something? My eyes are wide open. Not a core. I don't think that. Oh, I'm going to peel back the curtain here. You know what it might be? If the camera turned again. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, oh, your uh, your tracking points. It's cuz you're on a tilt. But I was sitting like that the whole time. Well, you've obviously done something to upset it. Now it doesn't know where you are. Your camera sucks. No, it doesn't. It only doesn't work for you. <laughs> my technology works great when I use it. It works for me on my stuff, just not on the podcast for some reason. I just leave it. Yeah. Uh, right, so, anyway, the magic of live television, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, I'm not editing any of that shit out. So... Oh, the AI got a hold of me. Yeah. Didn't like that we were insulting its writing. See? <laughs> <laughs> and now it's breaking your neck. Is it looking... It's not looking at you, is it? No. Wait, have you fixed it? I think so. Okay, don't move ever again. So, <laughs> um... But then, yeah, like, so Omega Mon turns up, and Satsuki and Marvin work together. Uh, Gururu Cannon versus Hyper Infinity Cannon, but the Gururu Cannon is still still manages to freeze the Red Digizoid. Mm. Um, Digimon. It lets out an Exa Destroyer, and then, uh, so Satsuki's Brigade Dramon launches all three of its guided organic missiles from its left arm, each one slamming into Omega Mon from the side. They're enough to take the Royal Knight off course and force it to land atop the gateway to regroup, but mm, Brigade Dramon is still nowhere strong enough to pierce the Royal Knight's armor. And it lets off Genocidal Reign again. Um, and then Omega Mon. Goes after Kosuke, 
Yes. With the transcendent sword or the gray sword. Just as we get to like 95, 96, 97%. And Kosuke pulls out two mega level Digimon from, from docks, just pulls them out one in each hand, like out of his pockets. Yeah, you know? I came prepared. Yeah. And we never learn what those two mega levels are. I wish I was joking. I told you I was collecting classified Digimon, didn't I? That's Co it, they're classified. Kosuke <laughs> dead, revealing two more mega level Digimon. Um, by which, And then I think this is meant to be Doromon? It is. By which you mean you have two or three, each on the same level as Mugen Draymon or Chaos Dramon. Anyway, 99% crack, by the way. And the two mega level Digimon emerge from their docks get slashed by Omegamon, which, you know, they basically oh. just bridge. They're, they're basically enough of a buffer to stop the Transcendent Sword reaching Kosuke's windpipe. Yeah. So Kosuke nearly gets sh shibbed. Mm -hmm. And the hacking causes ghostly projections of the prototype Digimon's uh, perfect levels to rise up and then sit down. Yeah, it sounds it sounds to me like they, they gave themselves a hug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like they stood up and then they kinda settled down around wrapping around them. Yeah. And then the gateway lets out a groan. A hundred percent. Hear just a metal clanking off its head. Yeah. I it's like noise. um do you know my immediate thought was um Virtue's last reward mm. when the number nine door is opening. Yeah. Just that I hate metal noises like that. Yeah. So Ugh. the gate opens and uh Kosuke, Eiji, and the three prototype Digimon just vanish. Yeah, they don't fall in, they don't jump in. They just, just poof gone. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Which means Satsuki and Marvin are left. To fight Omega Mon. <laughs> Unless Omega Mon went with them and the story hasn't told us yet. But well, maybe he stops because he goes, ah, oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> I failed. I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, this Omegamon has... So Omegamon definitely has no personality whatsoever. He is. Just... Oh, no, he is just attack robot. Yeah, that's it. I didn't know any better. I'd say he was being controlled by someone's doc as well. Yeah. Like Chaos Ramon. Mm. Yeah, he's definitely not the... He's definitely not like an Omegamon we've seen previously. Mm-hmm. He's, it's almost like they just added him in for advertising. Yeah, I feel like anyone could have been in this position. Yeah, just any, of, any of the royal knights. You have 13 of the bastards. The mm. giant dragon probably would have been the best one. Um, But I feel like any of the royal knights here could have worked. Mm. Uh, but nope. <laughs> Gotta go with the one that sells money, that makes money. Mm. The whore. What? <laughs> <laughs> Or Megamon. What? Or Megamon. <laughs> oh, Meg Hormon? I, I don't know. Leave me out of this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which one of those is funnier, but uh, I've been workshopping. <laughs> either way, either way, Yuki's going to put him on a pole. <laughs> yeah. So. But once again, chapter four has me torn on how I feel about it. Yeah. Like, I don't dislike this chapter, mm. but like, it ultimately is just you know, um, it's a timer episode. Yeah. And it's an episode running it, on a timer and... The rest of it is just, he fires gun, and he fires gun, and he stabs, and he stabs. Yeah. And, yeah. But, like, the Brigade Ramon just losing half its name for a paragraph. Yeah, it was kind of hard to get into it as well because of the errors. <laughs> yeah, like, and it's like, like chapter Calvin. one, chapter two level of errors where it's like, yeah. oh, oh, you know, um, then, you know, Kosuke having two classified Digimon that we're just not allowed to know what they are. How would yeah. you even animate that? Yeah. Would they just be shadows? 
Where do you just see him holding the two docks and the thing shoots up, but you never see them get? Yeah, he like Omega Mon just bl- gets blocked by pillars of light or something. Yeah. You know, I was really looking forward to this because my boy, you know, like my my Brigade Ramon is completely maxed out on the vital bracelet. Mm. 999 for all of his stats. 9999 for his um vital points. Mm. Completely maxed out. And I feel like he got done dirty. A little bit. A little bit. I mean, he's up against Omega Mon and holding I, his own for the most part. Yeah. Like, and he, like, despite how he looks, he's not War Greymon. <laughs> you know, he's a, uh, what would this would be like? If this were Pokemon, this would be like a divergent evolution rather mm. than a regional form. Yeah. Because he's different enough. Mm. That he's not a regional form. I did like that when Marvin caught a hold of him. Mm. Uh, he thought he was, um, you know, he won't be able to fight back because that gun is so long. Yeah. And Satsuki was like, haha, that's where you're wrong. I <laughs> meant you to catch me. <laughs> yeah. Like, Satsuki continues to be, like, the best. Yeah, I love her. Yeah. She's great. The way she entered the scene just <laughs> it was kind of reminiscent of, uh, Ag stepping on her head to get in. Yeah, he just fell over and just stood on stood on her head and then fell down in front of her, and she just kind of, well, I think she might have killed someone in the process, but uh, <laughs> she just stumbles in and then falls out of her robot. <laughs> like she's comic relief, but she's a, she's comic relief that you have to take seriously. Yeah, she's done well. She's not just a clown. No. Uh, where I feel like if this was an anime, she would be. Yeah, she'd be a lot more ditzy. Yeah, I feel like she, I feel like she wouldn't be as imposing. I guess mm. as she as she's made out to be, like she'd in be the more, storytelling, she'd be more annoying. I think. Oh, they would dial up her like foul mouthedness. I say yeah. in inverted commas because she won't be allowed to swear. She doesn't swear though. No. She's foul mouthed by it, and I don't want. I'm not. I don't want to like. I don't want to like um paint a wide, mar- you know. I don't want to pa- paint with a wide, uh, with a wide brush here. But is she just foul mouthed by Japanese standards because she's so brash and outspoken? Yeah, maybe in Japanese as well. The way she says things might be. And that's the other thing. Like the nuance. Yeah. Because we don't have like six words for I. I am going to do a thing, mm. you know, where they have like Boku, Watashi, Ore, mm. etc. There's like she could be really rude as well with how she talks to people. Yeah, and that could be the foul mouth of this rather than in the West. All like how do you portray someone as foul mouth? Oh, they swear every third word. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, she's a potty mouth on her. Mm. She, you know, she talks like a sailor. You know, which I think is. Actually, one of the analogies that was made for oh, yeah. back someone, in chapter one. Someone said that better, yeah. Yeah. Um, but like she doesn't, it, with the lines of dialogue she has, that doesn't come across. I think she called someone a bastard once. Probably. Oh. She, but that's that's as far as it's gone. Yeah, now she calls him pestilence incarnate. Yeah. Which is much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, you know, you've, you know, when, you know, you've, made an enemy of someone when they have moved off traditional swears and come up with something like Almost. tailored to yeah. their feelings of you specifically. Yeah, like it's almost like a majestic title. <laughs> yeah. But like for the opposite effect. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not complimentary at all. For from her perspective, like AG has ruined her life. She's had to give in her resignation to the Digi Police because of AG. Mm. Like it's AG's fault, Yulin's the where she is now. She's not wrong. Yeah, and like she got he got her in trouble before when she couldn't take him out. Yeah. Well she and that was partially her own fault because she wouldn't undo the mind link. Because yeah. she got so wrapped up in taking him down. Yeah. Um, so that she, so the fact that she's been able to show so much restraint in this chapter is, mm. um, but I do love the, what are you and your Numamon going to do to me from Marvin? Mm. And then just, oh, <laughs> beep, <laughs> yeah. comes the new doc and then, 
which I think is in the is oh, in it's the, in there at least twice. Yeah, the Gatling gun just goes. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, it's always funny when they type out the sound effect. <laughs> yeah, like the onomatopoeia for like yeah. yeah. So I don't like if we were if this was an animated or like if this was an anime, and that's uh, that's what I'm trying to look at this more as as we get closer to the end. Mm. And this was one whole episode. Mm. My my biases toward the Brigade Room Online. I don't think could overcome just how clinical this episode is. Yeah. Because as you said earlier, it is, oh, he shoots a gun, and he shoots a gun, and he stabs with a sword, and he summons more monsters, and she shoots with a gun, and mm. it's just, it's not as descriptive as 4-1, thankfully. It, like, it doesn't need to be. Yeah. But... Like, Satsuki makes it better, like, when... Astromon does something and she's like, oh, you stupid red digizoid or something. Yeah. But, you know. That, like, well, yeah, where she calls, like, the use of red digizoid, like, foul play. Yeah. She's like, Whereas, she's basically, like, hey, no fair cheating. Yeah. Whereas, had it been the other chapter, they would have really described that red digizoid and what it was in detail again. Yeah. And then described exactly what Brigadramon was made out of and what his bullets were made out of. And <laughs> Yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the Tolkien problem. Mm-hmm we've talked about before um so yeah i i think this would probably be about a two because there's actual at least there's stuff going on unlike mm -hmm. the adventure 2020 episode where nothing happens and these two monsters one being omega mon mm -hmm. are just staring at each other for 20 minutes and nothing happens this at least has stuff going on around them. You mm -hmm. can still imagine what the battlefield looks like. You can still sort of pinpoint everyone's position and mm -hmm. how far away characters are from one another. You know, and like Eiji's actively trying to get Satsuki to like not fire on Marvin and the other Sons of Chaos. Yeah. Because, you know, he knows Omega Mon's coming and, and then them teaming up to stop it because... They've all got a stake in who's trapped up on the gateway and yeah. things like that. So the gateway is in the ground, right? It's not a doorway. No, it's like it's, it's like a, on a, it's like crater. a crater. Yeah. yeah, it's like on a crater. So when it opens, it goes down. In theory, it should just go down. So did they fall? Well, that would be my interpretation. I think the reason Ag disappears. From the battlefield is because well he's mind linked at the moment he's uh hololized at the moment so but he was Lug like right next to them anyway yeah so when lugamon falls we'll say into the pit yeah he takes ag with him yeah so he was right next to them anyway yeah but that's why i'm not gonna it just occurred to me there because it said that uh omega man had to sit down on the gate for a minute to Recoup himself. Yeah, because when Brigade it. Ramon, you know, smacked him with a couple of uh, yeah, uh, a couple of grenades. Yeah, so I kind of pictured him kind of or homing missiles, leaning against it like, oh crap, and they're getting back up. But then I'm like, wait a minute, it's lying down. <laughs> so he must have just landed on him. Yeah, no, I think he landed on. I I imagine oh, it's good. a oh, Meg, what are you doing? How oh, dare I? I know. Like, it's how... fine. Leave it. Just leave no, it. no. You're making it. You're making a show of us. The AI. <laughs> Um, it's the translation. It's just my my model can't handle how bad it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know. So where were we? Oh yeah, no. I think it's more like he probably like got knocked knocked back and then landed, and he was like kind of like on one knee while he mm. you know recuperated and then went back into battle mm. or just attacked the thing that was next to him, which was Kosuke. Yeah, but. I need, like, I'll look up, I'll look it up today so we can maybe talk about it a bit more during Survive. Okay. But I need to know if the Japanese translation even mentions what Digimon come out of the docks. Yeah, because, like, if they're mega and they're, like, because he's been collecting them from, like, 
Like their megas tend to be like state secrets and whatnot. And oh, that's the Chinese translation. Hold on. Japanese translate page with Google Translate. Yeah, but we're just gonna have a look here because it wouldn't be the first time we've lost segments of the Mm. Um, come on, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, like you can see a lot, you can see actually a lot of the translation through the Google Translate is the same. Mm. So, I think they did just AI this and someone went in to try and tidy it up. Um, oh, yeah, oh god. That's a different sentence that got crushed. Yeah. Mechanolimon. Instead of Norimon. <laughs> Mechanolimon? <laughs> um, you're the vice leader for the Digiverses. Um, Marvin was overwhelmed by the demon's appearance. The demon being Satsuki. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I do like that was another thing I did like about this Marvin kind of looks at Satsuki with like a nah I ain't fucking around and finding out with you mm -hmm. like Marvin respects Satsuki enough that he's like no I'm not even gonna bother yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's a, that's another thing that I do like about Satsuki Niji calls her Satsuki-chan yeah <laughs> the god something? of plague the god of plague Niji yeah. is truly the god of plague I don't know which is you. I mean, you said it was a majestic title. Yeah. I don't know what's better, pestilence incarnate or the god of plague. <laughs> oh, we should get a poll running for that. Um, he almost wants to use Daishi to exercise evil spirits. God, sometimes like sometimes just it being translated from the Japanese <laughs> is better than what localizing it does because. Mm. AG said the bastard will be here soon <laughs> talking about Omega Man. <laughs> um, Sasuke Chan. <laughs> yeah. Um, genocide Rain. All right, so in Japanese, its attack is just Genocide Rain, not Genocidal. Which. <laughs> gaga, 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 yeah, it gaga. also goes Gaga instead of Ratata. Yeah. Um, which I think Gaga makes more sense. As opposed to it depends if you're imitating the noise the gun is making, or the bullets hitting the metal. Mm, I suppose I I I would imitate the gun. So you got, and not just because it's a Gatling gun, but I think for that kind of weapon. I don't know. I like it's 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 you know. Either way, it's apples and oranges, really. In the grand scheme of things, why am I so small? When did that happen? <laughs> when did I shrink? You were scrolling. Uh, how dare I? I'm asleep again for some reason. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really not. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, and then it's just all caps. Um, Brigade Ramon, uh, Mega, yeah, Ultimate, uh. And the Digi Police are called Digi Versus. Okay. Uh, hey, what is this Brigade Deramon? So he doesn't lose half his name in the Japanese version. Nope. Um, but it caught yeah, it being called Genocide Reign in the in the English version was a holdover from. Mm. Um, who's at fault? True. Yeah. <laughs> I think he said that in English as well. Yeah, Brigade Ramon's right arm. Yeah. Marvin! Satsuki-chan! It's not, not it's, even Marvin's son. It's the guy. The guy! Uh, I'm the guy. And they're all delete. Royal Knight. Omega Mon. Mm. Sorry, Royal Knights. Um, Don't say anything. He just executes. Just eliminate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um... That that sentence that was crushed together earlier yeah. is now crushed together. Nope. Among the ultimate beings who are highly honed, who are highly honed beings, they are closest to a god, a system administrator. Uh, run away! 
right, so hold on. Let me get down to Tartarus here to see if we find out what Digimon he pulls out. There's Grey Sword. Oh yeah, Grey Sword, yeah. Uh, did you want dog? Let's say dog. dog. <laughs> Two submachines that have been synchronized in advance. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> two new ultimate Digimon appear. When I say I've collected them, I mean there were two or three. Uh, Mugen, Mugen Raymon and Chaos Ramon class. So. Two ultimate Digimon appeared and used their bodies as shields. Are we just to take it that they're just another Mugen Draymon and Chaos Draymon? No. Because it says they're, they're Mugen the Draymon same... and Chaos Draymon class. Yeah, but that just means they're in the same class as them. They're not. Mm. They're not them. Uh. Oh. Well. On the verge of Omegamon's blade, which had mowed down the two ultimates, is on the verge of reaching Kosuke's throat. A much better. I can't remember how it was read already. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it's just. Um, I think you know, on the verge of reaching Kosuke's throat is better than like mere inches away from his windpipe. Is that what it said. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, now yeah. an inch from finding its way into Kosuke's windpipe. Ah, uh, okay. I guess, like, either is fine. Uh, progress rate 100%, the three disappear. <laughs> and the characters from the story... <laughs> AG, the three proto prototype Digimon, and the characters from the story... <laughs> were, tra were transferred. Transferred. Which is See, that gives... much better than vanished from sight. Yeah, it is, because... The gate, they're not opening the entire gate. They're opening a back door. Yeah. So them falling, like the, the gate opening beneath their feet, like, like, it seems weird to me. Yeah. But I'm guessing they were transferred, but that's not how it reads. No. Even though it says, like, the back door was finally open. Mm. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, guys, from our little... Uh, delve into the google translated version of the japanese text it really does feel like bandai for this chapter hit google translate and the intern went in and changed a couple of words again screwed it up completely yeah yeah this is chapter one chapter two levels of just it being it feeling incompetent mm. which which also hurts my experience with it mm. and again i feel like brigade Ramon got done dirty <laughs> So, yeah, um, we have a couple of, con there's no fan art we looked, there's no new fan art this week, so I think what we'll do then is we'll just get to, we'll just see if we have any comments, I think we do have some comments from Ali, yeah, and then we'll just, we'll wrap it up. Yeah. So... Yeah, we do. Because we read out Desmond's comment on the last Survive episode. Because yeah. Desmond was in the chat. Hi, yeah. Desmond. <laughs> so, Ali says, uh, in regards to 4-4, uh, Well, finally, Chaos Dramon appears, and he's just a minion. I was at least hoping he'd be some kind of wild card. But at the same time, I, I kind of can't see him being a punching bag going forward. Uh, then Marvin has a child, so he's not a virgin. <laughs> also being the creator of this universe's version of Twitter. <laughs> oh, he doesn't die or go DMIA. No, he's... I think he's got multiple children. Yeah. He does say the kids. He got the kids from school, right? Mm. But I I, wrong. either way, I, yeah, I, he's in a car at the moment. He's yeah. controlling chaos from him with a bot. So... Yeah, well, they gave his kids up from school. I was saying, Sasuke's in the middle of a war, like a proper war zone. Yeah. 
and like she's in like a battle station. <laughs> to I do swear this. to God, Sasuke better not die. Either of them. Thank you. No. But now with the others vanished or transferred or whatever, they can just run for it. They don't have to stay and fight Omega well, Man. No. They can just run for it. They can yeah, they can just get out of dodge. Hmm. There's no reason for them to still be on the battlefield. No. Do you think four dash six starts with that? Or do we just are we just in the gate now for the next six weeks? Um, I think we might be in the gate in the next one because it'll be all like eerie and quiet and mm. I kinda hope they do just dedicate even a paragraph or two to seeing the disappearance uh of from Satsuki's perspective even, mm -hmm. you know, seeing the difference of the of her squad leader. Yeah. Uh you know, Satsuki knew she was out of options. Um and like Omega Mon looking down upon them mm -hmm. decided to um remove herself from the battle and find a way to come back later. Mm. Maybe she could plead with the head with the with the with the upper the head management of the police that she just gave her resignation to or something. <laughs> to go in and save Yulin or maybe she goes and gets Ryu Senji. Then maybe that's how he comes into it. Maybe. But I would like them just to have like if Satsuki and Marvin clearly they didn't get to go through the gate like we envisioned. Mm. And I'm sad about that. Mm -hmm. I really, I was really hoping our Digi Destin team would would have included Ag, Satsuki, Yulin, Kosuke, and Marvin, mm. with Leon getting added in later when they revive him. Yeah, doesn't look like that's going to happen, and mm -hmm. it's it's the situation we didn't want. Because mm -hmm. if Yulin wakes up, it's just Ag caught in the middle of Yulin and Kosuke arguing about the past. Yeah, he's caught in the middle of a domestic. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. Thanks. Mm. Groovy. I hate it. <laughs> this is not tubular AF. <laughs> my mood my mood has plummeted to the max. <laughs> um sorry, inside joke. <laughs> um but Yeah, I yeah, Gastromon just existed to be uh, not a wild card. He was, he was just, a, just a punching bag. Yeah, he was. He was just a bullet sponge. Yeah. Like, really, even when Brig Brigadromon was attacking him, it was only enough to pin him down, really. it was He wasn't dismantling him. Mm. You know, maybe Omegamon will dismantle him at the, tar at the start of 4-6, but... I feel like we need to just imagine he's doing it now as they're disappearing in there. That's what my thought, you know, yeah. like he'll probably destroy Chaos Dramon, possibly Brigade Dramon. Yeah, Statsky will leave and yeah, then Brigade Dramon is not she's not connected mind -linked to him. him. So. Yeah. So it, it can just I don't want my boy to be destroyed, but I can see Chaos Dramon and Brigade Dramon getting destroyed at the top of next week's chapter mm. or this coming week's chapter. And um I feel it might go into digital world first and then go back to them the week after or so. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we won't know till we get there. I, I kind of just hope it opens with Satsuki and Marvin getting the hell out of Dodge mm. so before Omega Mon gets them. Mm. And then you cut back to our team awakens and, and it's, as you say, it's eerie and it's spooky and they don't mm. know where they are and et cetera, et cetera. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. Do you want to read it? That's it. Yeah, there are no others. I have. I was thinking about our comments on the survive. The comments on the survive streams, which we can keep for tonight, for. Um, what will be. Whatever will be, will be. It'll be episode. Yeah, it'll be part fifteen. Well. Chapter 12, but it'll be our 15th stream mm -hmm. of Digimon Survives Golden Route. Okay. And, uh, yeah. You go back to the comments for it? I'm just reading that top one. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get to it. <laughs> but that's everything, then. Um, Any sort of final thoughts on it? No. Curious about next week now. Yeah, I'm glad Brigade Ramon got at least a full color image. Mm -hmm. 
rather than you know just it all purple or all blue or it would have been purple for this chapter would it I... oh no this chapter is like blue yeah let me look at the other ones again uh oh it's purple. Yeah, purple yeah yeah they're purple you know yeah because yulins were like sepia yeah and leon's were green and ag's were ag's were blue yeah so <clears throat> So, uh, any other final thoughts, or? You just asked me that. I did, didn't I? Sorry. <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> yeah, so with yeah, that, ladies and everything. gentlemen, that is everything for today. We will hopefully see you tonight for um, Chapter 12 of Digimon Survive. We're heading south to find a phoenix. And uh, and then we're preparing for the final battle against the Master Haruchika. Mm. Ooh, exciting stuff ahead, I think. <laughs> I hope so. I'm really um, I'm enjoying this different branch of the story. Yeah, I'm more so just waiting for the aftermath. Hmm. I want to know what happens. The real version, not the the the, the, the camps and yeah. the internment camps is the word I couldn't remember the other day. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. As we were kind of saying before, like the endings of survive on the moral harmony and wrath roots are very bleak. And very dystopian to a point. Mm. Even the ending that ends with the kids opening Charles Xavier's school for the Digidestined yeah. is, you know, it's got a bittersweet sorrowness to it. So, yeah. And, and, and then one of the other endings, I think the Wrath one, they are just fugitives. Yeah. Um, it's, it's kind of incredible. Like, even the bad ending is a bad ending. <laughs> so... Be fun to see. Yep. So I want. I just want them. I. I just these kids deserve to be happy and not Shuji. So these these kids deserve to be happy, and um, we are so close to giving them the happiness. Um, Except Shuji. Uh, especially Miyuki, who needs all the happiness right now. So does Lotmon, but not Shuji. <laughs> <laughs> but Lotmon got over it. <laughs> you, no, you, Lotmon. You... Lotmon has Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> They all do, don't lie. <laughs> they all do. Tell me you can do no wrong. Oh. I'll believe anything you tell me. <laughs> oh, Labramon's just Fabuki. <laughs> She'll tell you anything she wants, even the numbers to her bank account. <laughs> Labramon's just a silly, lovable puppy. Come on, don't tell me you don't look at Bonnie and see Labramon. <laughs> yeah, like... Don't get what you mean, but they're all like that. Mm. They're all like that. No, they're not. Falcomon doesn't take Minoru's go. Yeah, but he. Agumon's a good sounding he board still for talking has to. I believe Agumon was actually the one who said, I'll believe anything you tell me, Takuma. But he's still a good sounding board, like for Takuma. You know, when Takuma wavers a bit, Agumon straightens them back out. But if Takuma goes, no, I actually want to do this, Agumon will probably just go, okay. I mean, it's going to it's gonna skew my evolution line, but you're the boss. Mm -mm. The plot says so. <laughs> um, you know, um, Drachmon, you know, matches wits with Kaito. He, you know, he's the mellow to Kaito's anger. Shakomon mm -hmm. is just, you know. Chaos. Yeah, Shakomon is just chaos. <laughs> like Miyu. You know, so they're two peas in the pod. Uh, Florimon doesn't really have a personality. Bitchy. Is she? That's a, it's, it's like a silent bitch. It's, it's, like, it's like Aubrey Plaza is playing a flower. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't say I ever got that. Like, no, I'm four... sure that's the same kind of eyes and the, the side eye going on. And... I'm, like, I'm like four playthroughs into this game now and I couldn't tell you what Floramon's personality is. It's just that silent 
bitchiness, but they're not actually being a bitch. Do you know what I mean? Uh, okay. Um, it's just the Opry Plaza, Opry Plaza vibe. Who are we missing? Uh, Kunamon is, is best boy. And we'll do whatever Rio wants. Well, I think Rio's are... <laughs> you know. Um, he's, he's, he's Rio's emotional support worm. <laughs> um... I think that's everyone. Yeah, I think that's everyone. I mean, Gabumon and the Professor just reunited, so there's not a whole lot there. Gabumon. And even he, he just went, okay, we're friends now. <laughs> mm. You abandoned me for so long. It's okay, though. I think maybe deep down, Gabumon always knew, you know, that Haru didn't abandon it. He didn't have a choice going back through that portal. Yeah. His dialogue says otherwise. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I want to try and give him the benefit of the doubt, but look, you've seen this franchise. It doesn't, it, it doesn't Digimon personality well sometimes. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. But I do appreciate that survives Digimon at least don't just feel like the kids. But again, Digimon. don't. <laughs> Judy and Lotmon are different people. Well, they are, but that's what I mean. Kunamon and Rio are different people. Judy bullied Lotmon into, into like, you know, liking him. No, he didn't. <laughs> Lotmon was always trying to get Judy to like him. Shuji refused to like him. That's 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 not it. That's I not mean... your version of events. <laughs> you you were you were going down the path of alt. You were going down the path of alternate facts here. No, that man took on that abuse and that trauma. To sustain your hatred of Shuji. That man took on all that abuse and trauma. Try and get Shuji to like him. Yeah, so he technically he bullied him into liking him. <laughs> it's no. <laughs> no, he liked him from the beginning. He was afraid of him. Anyway. Anyway. go now yes it is <laughs> so we'll so join us Picture. later on tonight for meg's for the for the continuation of meg's terrible takes <laughs> on uh chapter 12 of digimon survive and come bully meg in the chat because meg deserves it i'm bully shuji with me no just bully meg i no, mean you can, can bully shuji but i mean those, we can we can those, get shuji together no i mean like bullying meg and bullying shuji you know can be two separate things that happen in the one place they they and if you're on my, if you're bullying Shuji, then you're automatically on my side. You can bully Meg as well. Don't worry. <laughs> those two were you. Those those two things don't have to be. You don't know. make me bring up the end of the last stream. <laughs> Pleading the fifth. <laughs> right. Plenty to bully you for too. <laughs> so. See you tonight. We love you all. And uh yeah. Come drop by for uh survive tonight, chapter twelve, golden route, close to the true ending. Let's get these kids home and make sure they're all happy. And uh, you know, I'm yeah, and we can have more of Meg's bad takes as well. Because See you all soon. Yeah, I know, because they're still shit takes. And take care and uh bye. bye. Oh, I got cut off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.